Hi everyone, so I just wanted to make a quick video statement. Um, back in November when all the controversy was happening around myself and Wilfrid Laurier University, I made it very clear that I saw myself as a leftist. Um, so I was actually very genuinely confused when people were instantly accusing me of having a right-wing agenda or whatnot. I just kind of naturally saw myself as being a leftist. Um, I was pro-environment. I, I, I believed in climate change. Um, I was pro-gay marriage. I took the bus everywhere. I didn't have a car. So I guess just naturally, kind of without really thinking about it, I placed myself on the left of the political spectrum. <clears throat> then, you know, I kind of stuck to that and, and still believed that throughout the whole controversy at Wilfrid Laurier University. But it's more recently, actually specifically the fallout from the Faith Goldie event that uh, I helped organize as part of my club, the Laurier Society for Open Inquiry, that I realized I am not a leftist. So <clears throat> I, I realized finally, and, and you know, I'm tuning in now, but people are, have been well aware of this before I've announced it now. But what is the left now? They're pro-censorship, right? They are victimhood culture. They are all about moral righteousness. Um, they're taught that claiming to be offended results in a moral victory. And Jonathan Rauch wrote this over 20 years ago in his book, Kindly Inquisitors. They, there's, so there's this victimhood mentality. They don't believe in personal responsibility. They are completely intolerant of diversity of thought, intolerant. They are humorless people. Um, they want to make society boring. And they want to make it so that no one can do so much as make a joke. Um, if you are not on their side 100%, they will slander you mercilessly. And it'd be funny if it weren't such a dirty trick. So, for example, um, they've, they've released this photo of me standing beside two individuals at a crosswalk. And uh, apparently, they're, so they're trying to make it so that um, because I stood beside these two individuals, I have absorbed the ideology of these two individuals and I stand for what these individuals stand for. In this case, it's white nationalism, which I'm, I'm not. I don't, uh, I'm not interested in, in white nationalism. So an image like this it would be very damaging for someone who wants to get a job in government um, or social services or who wants to work with children, right? If this image is out there of you, it's going to be damaging for your career. And so this is how the left tries to slander. They're trying to make it not okay to talk about issues like being white. Okay, I want to talk about those ideas neutrally. I don't have an agenda to push when it comes to that, but I, they're trying to make it so that you can't be neutral about it. It's either uh, absorb the, the whole discourse about white privilege and, and uh, you have to have white guilt. Otherwise, you're standing beside some white nationalists. Okay, you must be a white nationalist as well. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, it, and they're trying to circulate this image of me. They're, they're posting it all over social media just in response to various things, like just to, just to spread the image for the sake of spreading the lie. Um, and it, really what it is, it's, it's controlling. It's trying to control the narrative. It's trying to make it so that if you, again, if you talk about being white, it must mean that you have a white nationalist agenda, which is obviously not the case. But again, they're trying to control the narrative. If you don't subscribe to the whole discourse about white guilt, well, then you're the enemy. Um, so for basically for days leading up to the Faith Goldie event and for days afterwards as well, I could be anywhere around campus and I'd hear, a white supremacist neo-Nazi is coming to campus, or Lindsay Shepard invited a white supremacist neo-Nazi to Laurier. So Faith Goldie, to my understanding, is not either of those things. Um, she is far right or alt right, but she's not a white supremacist and she's not a neo-Nazi. But the, the left 
again, they try to hijack this conversation and they try to confuse people. They, they try to, they want to remove the nuance. They even want it to make it unacceptable to acknowledge that there's a nuance. So when I was doing um, radio interviews about the Faith Goldie event, people would ask me how I feel about Faith Goldie's views. And I, I'd have to, I found myself explaining the difference between white nationalism and white supremacism, because there's a huge difference. And the, the left wants to make it so that even if you acknowledge that difference, there must be like something really dangerous or something really scary about you. And so even when I was explaining that difference, I felt like very self-conscious about it, right? Um, so again, it's, it's the removing of the nuance in order to control the narrative. Um, so, I really like, what, what I want to get across is that uh, I in no way want to be associated with what left has become. I'm not a leftist anymore. I would not call myself that. Does that make me right-wing or does that make me a centrist? I don't know. You tell me. Um, but all I know is I am, I do not want to have any part in this disgusting leftist culture. And so sometimes I see myself brought up as um, examples of leftists who advocate for free speech. I just want to clear the air that um, that does not describe me anymore. Thank you.